What's going on guys? I don't know if you watched my last episode, but we did a whole bunch of boat shopping looking for the ultimate dive boat and we found one. We bought one, it needs rebuilt. Today, this is episode one of the ultimate scuba diving boat build. So let's get down to Cebu and uh, go work on that. Goodbye. Have a one. Road trip. Road trip time. Road trip. We got some barrels to help with the floaty floatiness. We got Alex. We're loading the car. We got a lot of stuff. There's a bunch of tools under the seat, and we got to rearrange this because uh, we have to go pick up the rest of the crew. You ready, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go pick up everybody else. Yeah. I see you looking at me. I'm back. Bye. 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 Got some of the crew. We just need Dexter. You ready? Uh, I sure I forgot only about five things, so I think so. Well, at least you don't forget six things. You'll be all right. Good sir. What is what is your thoughts? <sighs> I'm worried. Why? Yeah. Look who I'm traveling with. Look. You know. I know things. Get to the boat. Can you tell us where we are? Well, sir, we have finally arrived at our little hotel that we're gonna stay at here in Allegria. Allegria. I have a, I have a feeling this is the only hotel in Allegria, but hopefully they got parking. I'm about to go find out. <laughs> The hole's still in it, so like, yeah, the water is on the inside and the outside. So. Oh, so this is it. Yeah, this is the bad boy. Just checking out the boat real fast because it's high tide. Uh, we got our mechanics and stuff here with us just to, just to check it out because we paid some locals to come clean out the engine bay, uh, just sand and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're going to come back at low tide. We'll go get settled in our... Uh, our hotel rooms and then uh come back what do you think dude this boat's freaking awesome man it's awesome. i love the seating on the top of the roof yeah i'll let you uh, i'll let you film everywhere and uh show the peeps like real quick but as cool as it is it's gonna be a lot of work but i, I don't care if it takes three months for uh this is gonna be the ultimate dive boat when we're done
Yeah. Extra, how many feet were you at? 37? Oh. <laughs> okay, don't make me count. <laughs> I'm, I'm 25 so far, but that's my feet, which is longer than what? Okay, I ran the math with my feet is 58 feet in length, but since my feet are bigger than a foot, it comes out that this boat is 66 feet long. 66 feet. 66 footer. Awesome. That's a big ass boat. Hey guys, if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member. The link is down below. Channel members get all kinds of perks, including free diving, discounted dive courses, awesome t-shirts, lot more. Whatever you do, I want to thank you so much for all your support. Thank you! So there's a freaking, you can sit and ride on the top of the boat. The very top, yeah. Dude, that's yeah. awesome! <laughs> Imagine going across the... Well, I don't know, going up while I let it back, sitting on the damn top. It, it wouldn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't during the typhoon. I mean, this thing got battered and tore loose from the dock. In fact, this, it's still got part of the dock here. Yeah. So, one of the first things we gotta do is basically get rid of this. I mean, this will just make it look better just to get rid of it. It's not gonna change the fixing or anything else, but there's a little bit of things we gotta doll up, you know, kind of make ourselves feel better about it before we even start going on it. Uh, like we cleaned the hull on the inside. Uh, did it help us fix it? Not really, but you know, it's all about attitude. You know, you just gotta have the right attitude before you start in on a project like this. If you don't see, you know, what the end goal is, you're never gonna get finished. You know? So you just gotta start with little pieces, cleaning the inside, taking this off instead of they just let it hang there for you know two years now. Uh, what are little things we can do to just make us feel better like we're trying to reach a goal and we're actually achieving something? That's what we're going to do right now. Step one done. That piece off. You look prettier. Even with me in the picture. We're going to take and try getting into this captain's gallery and we're going to use a good tried and true how to steal something. I think that did it. Let's see. <laughs> there you go. Alright, come on now. Oh, oh, that's cold. Oh, that's cold. Hey, is this normal? Uh, I just saw a fish inside the boat. They're supposed to be on the outside of the boat. <laughs> we got here, like, right at high tide. Yeah, it's actually going a little higher. Okay, it's going higher, I guess. So we're in the engine room. We're gonna try to uh, get some weight off this boat by just dismantling it right here, getting it out piece by piece, get this thing afloat, get some patches on the outside, go from there. Ooh, it's cold. I'm a little concerned seeing a fish inside the boat though. I swear there's a fish. Check this out. This is how uh, a new editor is initiated into a uh, Critter Republic. You gotta kneel on the engine under water, under the boat. Anything for the shot. <laughs> anything, anything for the two. Alex, Alex is like, white people so stupid. Why they freaking booong, huh? Look at these booongs. Worried about uh oh that's gross.
Oops. One. Get back. Cash out. Just nails. Just nails? Yeah. Wow. So I'm going to go dry off, let Dexter take some more pieces off the uh, engine and the water is all the way to the floor so I'm going to go try to find some, uh, some big barrels to try to float this thing enough to where we can put some big timbers or something under the whole keel and uh, get it off the ground. So because this is a really high tide right now. I didn't realize it came this high. It's gonna be really easy to float this boat. So, uh, it took a while, but we finally found somewhere that might sell the big barrels. So we're kind of in a hurry, haul ass, buy these, get back to the boat before uh, high tide goes away. Okay, these big metal ones, they're sealed, they float, and they're like what, less than half the price, so just gonna haul ass, nobody here to help us, so just gonna pull over, put them in the truck, go pay. the hell out of my truck but we got the barrels and some shovels now we gotta get back before it's high tide or before it's low tide well that mission's complete let's go see how Dexter's doing uh, taking the motor apart piece by piece Okay, six barrels and I still had time. Let's see how this goes. Buy a boat, they say. Boats are fun. So the head's loose. Let's see if we can uh, get it out. Well, we gotta get a lot of these lines off here, but. I worked all the head bolts off loose. So that was the thing I was worried about. <laughs> this first video in this series is going to be, it's going to look like a train wreck. But we need to film every little uh, detail from start to end of this boat, dive boat build. And uh, I just want to know, has anybody else ever taken a head off underwater? <laughs> I hope you haven't. <laughs> this thing was made for Filipinos, man. Damn engine room wasn't made for me. Ugh, oily, oily water. Well, we're getting the motor taken apart. The kids are enjoying the platform. We're jumping off. Ugh, yeah, freaking mess. Dexter, what are we? What are we doing down here? We're gonna dig underneath here, feed the straps under, and try to get the barrels on each side right here. So we gotta be in front of those patches so we work on that area. And once the barrels are on there, we can't work on, on those patches. All right. So we'll put some one big blue barrel on each side. One blue blue barrel on each side. Put straps underneath it. Wait for it to get high tide. Hold them together. Yeah. Float it up a little bit. Start repairing some of these uh, holes, patches. All right, they're digging from both sides, and he now they can see each other, so we can put a rope through. Yeah, nice. I guess on their side, right? Yeah, looks like that. Should look like that. Yeah, it looks like that. 
Boss man, we just busted our balls off. Or you busted your balls off. What's the thoughts? <sighs> I'm hoping it's good. The, the barrels will stay under here, whether they come up or not. You know, as long as they stay and they don't poke any more holes in, we're good. As we got the other barrels to put on her in the morning, and those other four should definitely bring this thing up. And just got to try to keep the water from going back in again. And that's the best hope, but we'll find out midnight whether or not we're down here swimming under this boat trying to pull those straps off. <laughs> that's your job. All right, my side is done. So basically the boat's here. There's a big freaking barrel on both sides of the hole uh, strapped together. And we're gonna come back at like, uh, I think one o'clock in the morning at high tide. Uh, we're gonna come before high tide and just see if it lifts the, uh, lifts the boat out of the sand. And if it does, we got six more barrels. Um, I think it's gonna lift it because it was already, it was already getting floaty uh, without the barrels. Uh, but one of the main thing is we, we're really hoping that since they're strapped together, they don't like punch holes through the, through the uh, hole. <laughs> so if all goes well tonight, uh, the tide will go back down in the morning at 5 a.m. We'll be able to work, 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 get more barrels on here, get the patches cut, ready to go, and then we'll float it at tomorrow. I think the next high tide is 11 a.m. Yeah, anyway, we'll just film that. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll call that a video. And let's see how we can do tomorrow.